Hey everyone, welcome to another Anime Kingdom discussion and review. This one is on episode 12, the final and last episode of Gate Season 2. And oh my gosh, such an awesome episode to end the season. I'm happy yet sad. What do you guys think the reasoning for that is? If you guessed happy because, you know, the ending of this was just such a nice, happy ending. And if you guessed it was sad, why I'm sad, because... It's over. I want a season three. <laughs> um, so I'm not too sure if there's going to be a season three. I didn't see anything about it. I'm not even too sure how far ahead the light novels is ahead of where, you know, where the anime is. So that might be a big reasoning on when or if we have another season to which I really wish there was another season because you don't even know. This is probably one of my favorite animes of this season including last season since we got the wait when the first season was was just it's just been awesome to be honest like i've enjoyed this so much this second season honestly is a lot better than the first one in the in terms of just the darker tone it gave con, in you know compared to the first one I'm not saying the first one was bad but i actually really enjoyed the second one a little bit more just because of how much more darker it was like some of the things that happened in this was like wow I know in comparison to the light novel, a lot of people have been saying, no, it's not even close in terms of how dark it is in there, to which I might end up choosing to read it, to be honest. It sounds pretty interesting, and I love the anime, so maybe, because, um, you know, I probably can't wait for a third season already, but yeah, um, overall, really great episode. Everything went good at the end. We got to see everyone fighting in for, you know, everyone having their own time. The rest of his, you know, team came Itami sets up a whole plan. Seeing him push the cart was completely hilarious. Him acting like a slave and everyone being mean to him. And of course, oh my gosh, the look on the prince's face when they burst it in. He's like, you, and I'm just like, <laughs> oh man. And as much as I wanted him to die, his fate of what's going on now is like 10 times better to be honest him he's always scared now oh my gosh but yeah everyone having their time in the limelight seeing each of them do their own thing in the groups that they had seen rory and lele to feed that ogre that ogre's like the prince is like bring in the ogre and pino is like oh no and then rory's just like shing and lele yeah, okay, I'm, I'm getting a little crazy right now because seriously, that was awesome. The action in this episode was awesome. The, the drama in this was awesome. The, the overall feeling of the episode, you got the beginning where it's like, oh my gosh, we have to save Pina. And then you have this, ooh, yeah, they're all kicking ass. No one can stop them. They save Pina. They save the Emperor. They get out of there. And guess what? The prince is super scared, man. That part when Itami was like, we're always watching and, you know, the next bullet, if you try and chase, the, go, you know, send assassins at Lele again, it's going in your head. And he's just like, uh, 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 and I'm just like, <laughs> and even after when you see him, <laughs> sorry for that evil laugh, <laughs> but even after when you see him, you know, there, him and the rest of the pro-war senators leaving to somewhere, I don't know where. Um, he's just like hearing gunshots all the time. He's just going to be scared all the time. He's not going to be able to sleep, not going to be able to eat. That dude's just his, like, good for him. Like, literally makes me feel so happy. that Because he, he's an idiot. He's literally an idiot. And that moment when the emperor said, you know, he's going to make Pina the crown princess and she could do what she wants if she wants to divide the emperor, the empire or, you know, have peace and everything. And, like, to be honest, at first... When we first saw the Emperor, I didn't like him either. The way he was like, oh, we're going to send these guys to their deaths and all this kind of stuff. I was like, jeez, he doesn't want peace with Japan. And all of a sudden, he wakes up from this, and he's kind of a completely different person. And honestly, I, I, I enjoyed seeing how he handled everything, saying that, you know, he would agree with, he, he agrees with Japan. He's going to make Pina the crown princess. And then, you know, at her coronation, it was, it was such a beautiful moment. Like, at first, it was so like beautiful and everything going so nice i honestly thought oh my gosh you know what would be so bad and so dark is if all of this was in pina's head and she was still in the prison dreaming about this or something like literally like it just seemed so surreal and like i was like oh my gosh please be real i do not want this to be fake you know and luckily it is real so yeah woohoo! and you know we have a ton of ships 
at the end you saw like a bunch of them Bose and um, I forget what his name was are together Beef Eater and that other guy is together and oh my gosh the the bunny girl and that other guy like there's so many sh- like sorry there's too many names I keep forgetting all their names but um all the shippings are just like blowing up at the end and then you wonder wait a minute where's Itami guess what you know what they say what's more important his work or his hobby hobby he's back in Japan but guess what his poor Itami can't get what he likes but come on you can't be mad you're with three beautiful girls Lele, Rory and T- Tika all there and it's pretty much just like <laughs> he's all like Ooh! but it was a happy ending like literally such a great episode to end this whole series right now this whole, this season literally it was pretty dark throughout this whole thing and then the ending was just like such a beautiful moment scene everything go well um teal you know she's like oh why do i feel she's all sad and empty now that she finally got her revenge on the empire and everything and is that supposed to make me feel bad for her change my view of her because guess what no good for you good for you good for the prince i'm happy with what's happened the princess you know pina is now the crown princess everything's good there looks like there's gonna be some good peace between japan and the empire now the prince ran away i don't know what happened to him and now you can see tommy's with his three lovely ladies in japan having fun but yeah overall pretty good episode to end up honestly amazing season i would definitely give this season maybe like like an 8.5 out of 10 it was really good to be honest there were some moments that i felt like um i wish i i just wish it would have been a little more but overall it was honestly a really good season that's why i give it 8.5 out of 10 really well done season good the darker tone definitely made it a lot more interesting to be honest and still i just love seeing all the action i love just the whole atmosphere of this anime the interactions all the characters and everything and just the ending was a tip of the iceberg that literally was just like beautiful plain beautiful (laughs) but yeah honestly there's not much for me to say because i honestly just enjoyed the overall season just just i i really enjoyed it a lot the whole first season the second season and please 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 when you can please let there be a third season because seriously i want more i want more i want to see more of rory i want to see more of tuka more of lele more of itami more of the rest of everyone pina please oh man you got i how do you guys feel about this how did you guys feel about the ending did you guys enjoy it did you guys enjoy the whole season overall um, did you enjoy better than the first? Did you enjoy the first better than this? Do you want a third season? Whatever you guys want to talk about, feel free to comment below. Because seriously, I am so hyped for, like, hyped right now because of how good this episode and how good the season was overall, in my opinion. But yeah, that's all I got to say, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this Anime Kingdom discussion and review. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. If there's anything I miss you want to talk about, comment below as well. And until next time, guys, see ya.